What's going on guys, this is Random Reviews, and today we're going to do Season 4, Episode 136. So today we're going to be talking about Shazam! Fairy of the Gods, The Flash, and Blue Beetle. Well, I'm just going to call this DC 2023. And like I said in my Guardians of the Galaxy 3 review, James Gunn, what have you done? Again, we're not going to see any... Oh yeah, Aquaman. Fuck, I'll just add Aquaman in here too. Because I finally watched that recently. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to add Aquaman in here too. Because yeah, why not? Might as well make this video at least five, a little bit longer. So yeah, this is the intro, and now we're on to the review segment. So like I said before, I'm going to add time codes. So if you just want to watch a review for a specific movie, you could do that. So yeah. Uh, Shazam! Fairy of the Gods. It was really good. It's not as good as the original, the first one, though. And yes, I did watch the TV show as well. Where they, Captain, where they called him Captain Marvel for some reason, but whatever. Like, I know the whole lore, I get it, but it's just, like, so confusing. <laughs> but anyway, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. It's not as good as the first one, but it's really entertaining. It's really funny. Like I said, I do love watching Zachary Levi playing as a teenager. And he's gonna be a child later this year with Harold and a purple crayon. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, I like Zachary Levi, but why? Just why? But anyway, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Six, seven out of ten. The Flash. I know there's some controversy with Ezra Miller, whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> like, The Flash could have been good, but again, James Gunn had to ruin DC because he's like, oh yeah, like before these movies even came out, they're like, oh, you're not going to see these characters again because we're going to reboot the DCEU, whatever the hell it was called. It's like, we're going to reboot everything, so it's like, you're not going to see any of these characters again. Or unless they decide to do it, I don't know. <sighs> why, James Gunn, why? It's like, Blue Beetle could have been so much better. The Flash. I thought The Flash was pretty good. It's really funny. It was really funny. It's like, yeah, DC is like, well, I don't know. It's my opinion. It's like, you can comment down below what your opinion is between Marvel movies and DC movies. But it's like, with Marvel movies, it's like, it's funny and action-packed and plenty, plenty of comedy and action. That's what I like about those Marvel movies. DC is more serious. Sometimes it has some funny bits in there, but it's like, yeah. The Flash was really funny. Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah, there was a lot of funny bits in there. Yeah, the effects are not great, but it's like... That's the whole charm of the Flash, because he runs super fast. <laughs> but the Flash, I would give him like a seven out of ten. Like I really enjoyed it. It was funny, plenty of action, and cool to see Supergirl in this. But of course, James Gunn ruining DC. And we're not gonna see any of these characters again. So it's like, what's the point? All right, next is gonna be Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle, Mexicans represent, Latinos represent. I'm glad that we finally got a Latin superhero on screen, but of course. But of course, again, James Gunn ruining it. And we're not going to see him again, which is so disappointing. I really loved Blue Beetle, one of my favorite DC movies. If I had to rank all the DC movies, I would definitely put this towards the top. Because Blue Beetle was funny. It was really funny, plenty of action. Susan Sarandon as the villain was really good. Yeah, Blue Beetle was actually really funny too. Yeah, and George Lopez as the uncle, which was really funny. <laughs> Yeah, I like George Lopez. I think he's funny. Like I said, Blue Beetle, 8 out of 10. <laughs> okay, next is going to be Aquaman. This one's probably going to be short. Aquaman in the Last Kingdom. Was this worth two and a half years? Almost three years? No. 19, 20, 19, 20, 20, 2021, 20, 2023. Was this worth almost a six and a half year wait? And no. Aquaman was really good. The first one was really good. Second one was a good ending to this, I think. But again, it's like we're not going to see any of them because, again, James Gunn ruining DC. I'm sorry, James Gunn, if you watch this, I am really sorry. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Well, we'll see. You never know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, whatever it was called. I thought it was good. But the end credit scene is just so dumb. <laughs> it was funny, but again, it's like, eh. Again, I would probably give it like a 5 out of 10. So yeah. Okay, next we're just going to do a solo video. Probably going to be a shorter one. So yeah. Next we're going to be talking about Ahsoka Tano, the TV show. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!